Good evening everyone and uh, so uh, recently I saw the question for a net exam in June 2020 so this exam was only recently held uh, because of um, all the corona uh, the exam was held in I think 19th uh, November and the question paper was out only uh, only recently just two three days back so so while going through the question paper I just came across uh, one problem which uh, which has a mistake a small mistake and uh, uh, if you make a peel, uh, then maybe you can get five marks, or with a negative, it will be six point two five marks. So I'll just show you the problem, uh, explain a bit. So this this is the problem. Uh, it's in, from part C. So it says the velocity of a particle which is moving in one dimension is given by this v x is v naught sine pi x by x naught, and then it says that v zero and x zero are positive constants, and then it says initial condition is x equal to epsilon times x naught where mod of epsilon is much smaller than one then in long time which option is right so the official key is that uh, in the longer term the particle will tend towards x equal to x naught okay but this however is not completely right because they have said nothing about the sign of epsilon this option is correct if epsilon is positive but Epsilon can also be a small negative quantity. Then, then this option does not hold. Okay, so I'll just uh, explain to you. So this is the situation here. This, these are the three points of interest. One is the origin zero, and then x naught, and then minus x naught. So velocity is zero at origin, at x naught and minus x naught. So this will be like pi and minus pi. So again, it will be zero. And in between, if the particle is in this side, it will have a positive velocity. If it's on this side, it will have a negative velocity, right? So the idea is this. It, it says it starts with uh, this condition. Epsilon is, x is epsilon x naught. So uh, basically what it's saying is that uh, yeah, so so if it, the particle starts at a point close to the origin, and then of course it will have a, a positive velocity, but however, to reach x naught, if you calculate it, it will take an infinite amount of time. That, that's the idea, and when that holds, this option holds. However, what can also happen is that it can also start to a little bit of the left of origin, and then of course the velocity will be negative and then the same thing will hold it will take an infinite amount of time to reach this point minus x naught okay so that's that's the correct description and i'll just show you some more calculations here so this is the initial condition x is epsilon times x naught with more of epsilon is much smaller than one so epsilon is very small but it can be a small negative quantity also it's a, this was your uh, a given equation so velocity or dx dt is this so you now you just bring this one to the this side so uh, this will become cos x dx and other this will become v naught dt so now you just integrate with the initial conditions epsilon x naught to x and 0 to t so integral of this one is log of cos x minus cot x so it becomes this one yeah, and then a factor of pi by x naught will come because it's there inside this, uh, uh, inside this uh, trigonometric term here. So, and yeah, now you just simplify it. You write this as one by sine, cos by sine, one by sine, cos by sine, and simplify it a bit. And then you convert it into half angle. So this will become two sine square x by two. This will become two sine x by two, cos x by two, like that. Yeah. So, and the same thing here, and basically you'll get a tan of half angle here, a tan of half angle here. And this is the expression you get, this log, well, if you bring it to this side, it will become exponential. And you get this, and this is small here, so if you want, you can make a small angle approximation. Uh, it's not required, but you can still do it. So, this is almost equal to mod epsilon pi by 2 into exponential of this. 
So from here you can see that when x is x naught, so this is 10 pi by 2, this is infinite. So t has to go to infinity. Okay. And if x is minus x naught, then 10 is minus pi by 2. Um, and that is minus infinite, but there's a mod sign here. So this is again infinite. So t will again be infinite if, in, just in case it goes to minus x naught. So, so that's, that's the correct description. And the correct option should be this. When x tends to plus minus x naught, t will tend to infinity. And the correct option should be this. In long term, the particle tends towards x equal to plus minus x naught, depending on the sign of epsilon. So if epsilon is positive, it will go to plus x naught. If epsilon is negative, it will go to minus x naught. Okay, so that's the correct correct answer. And uh, if you want, you can write to them. Uh, and uh, if they accept it, you, you will get get some marks. Uh, so. I'm not, not sure if uh, you can still do it, but uh, there will still be some contacts and you can write to them if you want. So, yeah, so that, that was that. I have not um, uh, not gone through all the questions uh, in that many, uh, that much details. Uh, uh, overall, uh, broadly speaking, I, I thought it was, uh, uh, the question paper was not very difficult, but the pattern was, uh, was changed. So uh, I don't know which way the, and the cutoff will go, so may, maybe it will decrease. I, I'm not sure, but maybe not too much, because the questions the way that way it was not too too difficult, you know. Uh, so uh, I also run a course for net. Uh, one of my students this time he's got a full 30th party, uh, and I have explained uh, the contents uh, of the course in. Another video in more details, you can just go and uh, watch it if you want. And if you're interested, you can just send me an email. Uh, and apart from that, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope your exam went well, and uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, so let me just stop it here.